Hey YouTube, what is good, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. And today I have another best class setup video for you guys. And this one, we're going to be talking about the Shiva and how you can turn this gun into an absolutely laser gun. It is so overpowered. It is amazing. I've never really used a Shiva, but when I've thrown these attachments on it and these perks, guys, oh my god, this gun just melted. Already, as it is, it's basically a two-shot weapon when you get two clean shots on an enemy. So, as soon as you throw these attachments on it, you can see a massive difference in your game, the way you play, and the way you can pop off enemies. So, easy. So, if you enjoyed the video, please do drop a like on it. Let me know if you're going to give it a chance in it in the comment section below low and please do subscribe if you are new i'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers so if you guys would like to sit back and relax and enjoy this class setup video let's get straight into it so the shiva itself is an absolute beast weapon it's a semi-auto marksman assault rifle and it estimately kills an enemy in about two shots if the shot is clean okay so that is really really good for an assault rifle anyway so we need to use that to our advantage okay two shots to kill an enemy if the shot is clean we need to bump that up so it's as close to one shot as possible so one thing i always throw on at the shiva whenever i do use it but like i say i very rarely use it and when i use this class setup i find that this is one of the main factors that help me annihilate enemies so quickly and it's throwing an elo on it okay now you guys can use whatever site you want if you want to throw a red dot or a i think it's a boa3 i'm not too sure a boa3 site on it then you can but i prefer the elo it just gives me a little bit more accuracy with the weapon over the iron site so that is always a good thing to do. If you can just bump up the accuracy of the weapon with the red dot, I recommend throwing that on. Now, another big factor for me, sorry, is the stock. Now, if you can move faster while aiming down sight, it'll give you more of a chance of surviving in gunfights because you can move from left to right a lot quicker than what the enemy can if he's not running stock, okay? And with this weapon becoming a two-shot weapon, if the shots are clean, then that is a big factor as well. It gives you a lot more accuracy when you're in a gunfight battle especially long ranges because in this next attachment this will definitely give you the over the advantage over the enemy then it's long barrel okay so it basically just increases the range which basically if you guys don't know what that means is it takes that damage and it bump, it bumps it up so the range it carries more damage as the bullet travels further so that two shot that two shot kill that can travel a lot further than what it could without long barrel so that is for me is a definitely big big thing for the shiva because like it's like it says it's a marksman assault rifle so it's one shot and then a two shot if you just tap the trigger twice now a big thing for that because it's a marksman is the rapid fire it gives you an increased increase in the rate of fire so you can get them bullets out a lot quicker so that is a big big thing because i tried this without rapid fire to see if i could find like the best class for you guys and basically for me the rapid fire made a big big difference when i threw it on i unlocked it late last night and when i threw it on and i jumped into these games guys it changed the shiva for me rapid fire on the shiva and the stock as well them two them two attachments alone it makes it so overpowered but with the elo and the long barrel it's just insane give it a go and i promise you guys you will not be disappointed but because this is a maximum assault rifle it's not very good in in short close quarter gun battles okay so we're going to need something to help us out with that and i've chosen the lcar 9 now i would normally go for the rk5 but it is down to personal preference really i personally find having a fully auto machine pistol in your back pocket with moderate damage anyway is always handy when you're using a marksman assault rifle like the shiva so that is really handy and really useful when you're in close quarter gun battles and at the first perk because we're not going to have any attachments for the secondary or lethal to tacticals so we're going to have a one two three perk slot remaining okay so we we're not going to have a two two perks okay or two three perks or anything like that because we only have three slots remaining and we're going to use afterburner now i have found that if you use afterburner i like to jump around a lot it gives me the advantage over the enemy if you're jumping around a lot and also with the stock as well if you can move left to right it's very very useful so the afterburner will just allow me to recharge my thrusters a lot quicker 
and for perk number two we're gonna have scavenger because you know when you're on them streaks because you will go on streaks with this gun guys i promise you that and when you are going on streaks you want to be able to pick up scav packs you don't want to pick up some random gun that you don't know how to play with that will definitely put you at a disadvantage so definitely throw scra uh, scavenger on it if you want to take the l car off then you can put like um, a different perk uh, and get rid of the elo site sorry you can then throw like fast hands on there as well but i recommend keeping the elo and the l car on this class because it does make it does help it, it basically does if you guys give it a chance you will see what i'm talking about but perk number two scavenger and perk number three is a tactical mask now tactical mask for me is a big thing as well because it reduces the effect of uh, flashbangs concussion grenades and shock charges because you do encounter a lot of them in call of duty nowadays people are constantly throwing concussion grenades and laying down shock charges so tactical mask is a big help especially when you're not going to be rushing around as much but when you do need it the most not to get like affected by them it definitely comes in handy so i recommend that but moving on to the specialist in the score streaks right now now personally i do like to use kinetic armor because it is a marksman assault rifle so you will be getting shots fired at you at a fast rate if you're not accurate and kinetic armor can save your life if you're getting ballsy and pushing up the map a little bit especially when you've got that l car in your back pocket if you just quickly can uh, kinetic armor yourself up and then you get your l car out that can give you the advantage in a gun battle and that can definitely save your life when you're on streaks but the skull streaks basically are as follows. I would normally go with a Cerberus, a Wraith, and Raps. That is personal preference. Again, you can change this up in any way you want, but for me, I found that this was the best class setup for the Shiva. But that is really it for this class setup, guys. That is my personal best class setup for the Shiva that I have found with playing for the Shiva for a couple of days. This, for me, was definitely the best class setup I could find. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please do drop a like on it. Let me know if you're going to give this gun a chance in the comment section below. And don't forget, guys, I'm still running the giveaway for 5,000 card points. So make sure to head down to the link in the description or the link on screen right now for a chance to enter, okay? It's really, really good that you could just potentially get 5,000 card points, open some supply drops and get some DLC weapons. Who doesn't want that? So make sure to go down there and check it out because you could come out on top and be the winner. But if you guys are new around here, then please do subscribe. I am on the road to 10,000 subscribers. So every subscription counts and I always appreciate your subscription. But that is it from me, guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic day as always. And I shall see you in my next video. Reaper kill. UAV inbound. A friendly guard. Securing B. Care package inbound. Friendly UAV inbound. Going down. Severus on standby. Securing Bravo. Severus now. Nearly over. Try to repeat. 